Now, there's always something going on in the royal household, and this week has been no different. And each Saturday, I love to give you a rundown. And who better to do so than royal biographer Angela Levin? She joins me now. Angela. Hello. Welcome. Right, you're matching, Lizzie. But should we, should I know. We, well, we wait. didn't talk about it first. We just... Um, we're surprised at each other's colour. You mentioned colour. my background yes. as well, which is very nice. <laughs> right, so let's, let's start. Should we start with the king? Yes, we should, yes, we should yes. start with the king. Um, he went in to have his operation yesterday at quarter to nine with Camilla. It's very, very unusual. The late Duke of Edinburgh and the late Queen mm. Elizabeth always went on their own, so it was unheard of. And she stayed there till three o'clock in the afternoon. Very touching. She wanted to be with him, blow the protocol, mm. blow all that nonsense. It was like a normal couple who wanted to be together when things were, you know, mm. in hospital. And um, she came up with a big smile. It's all gone all right. She went back again, came out at 8.30. Today she's gone back. He might very well come out tomorrow. Mm. Things seems to have gone well. But I think it would be very difficult for him because he's so used to working all the time, so used to having, you know, things he's got to organise and going out to places that it's very difficult when you absolutely have to stop and then wait until you are better. He probably quite enjoys it, actually, a little bit of a rest. Well, he might, he might yeah. not. He might feel very uncomfortable. I mean, some people like to work really, really hard, and if they're not, they're all sort of scratchy and don't quite know what to do. But um, I think that, you know, she's there. She's a very calming, she'll mm. make him laugh and all that sort of thing. She's been very busy, by the way, Queen Camilla. I mean, she's now the patron of the Anne Franks, mm which is, she said that just before the Holocaust. And that's good because people wanted to change the name and make it more um, diverse. They wanted to call it World Explorer. And I think okay. other people, yes, yeah, ridiculous, other people... That doesn't, that doesn't roll off the tongue, She will do very well. Um, and um, she's also doing a book launch with the uh, wife of um, Macron mm. in France, which is actually very good, encouraging her interest in literature um, around Europe. Um, so she's been extremely busy and uh, looking after her much-loved husband at the same mm -hmm. time. Well, that's, that's what she should be doing. That's, yeah, that's absolutely. That's normal, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And then we have um, Harry and Meghan. Oh, God. And there's a lot of talk about why they actually went to Jamaica and that it was completely the wrong time. Now, the question is, did they go there deliberately so they could speak to the Prime Minister and show them that he would like them but not like um, William and Catherine who went out in <clears throat> 2022 mm. and he said, I'm leaving, I want to get rid of it. But I don't think he wants to leave the Commonwealth. I think he just wants to be independent. And the King is very keen on that. He's got mm. no problem with that. People grow up, countries grow up, and that's perfectly all right. Um, also, they were concerned why they, he, they were up against, um, close to the paramount boss, mm. because they're supposed to be really with Netflix. And this was this a question that, um, that they were trying to get a job uh, well, Megan. I mean, the question is, um, they're always looking for a job, so probably. Yes, probably, yeah. which is a bit unsubtle, I think, really. Um, but there they were. She looked extraordinarily overdressed when you then going to a cinema, really, and mm. a, um, a film, because the dress was absolutely enormous. And it's the sort of thing that you see at the awards ceremony. So I think people have really laughed at them and they wonder actually what on earth are they doing? There's mm. nothing. Other people are scurrying around, doing much as they can. And if they'd stayed with the royal family, they could have been extremely useful. But now they just want to prove they're stronger than them, they're liked in other ways than them, and they're going to do it their way. And I think it's very self um Killing, really. Mm, mm. It's very, very, I mean, the behaviour from the two of them, you think that they would kind of evolve and see that actually this doesn't work, the approach that they're using, yes. but they don't appear to want to, which they, is quite odd, really, isn't it? Yes, they don't sense what the room is saying to them mm. or what anybody is saying to them. They're going to do it their way. They have a straight line. And actually, it's not going to help them go anywhere because people um, feel that it, they're not behaving properly and they're fed up with it. Mm. And to keep on moaning, moaning, moaning is just not a very good idea no. to get people to like you. No, not at all. I don't, I don't really get it. I don't get what they're doing and why they're doing it. And why, you know, especially with the King not being well and obviously with Catherine as well. Yes. well I, I'm worried about Catherine. 
Yes, I'm worried about Catherine. I think mm. everybody's worried about Catherine. Very nicely that the king and queen went to see her this morning um, because they're in the same hospital. Mm. I thought that was very nice. Oh. And she must feel well enough. Otherwise, that wouldn't have happened. And I believe that she might come home any day now. Perhaps they said she's going to be in at least two weeks so that people don't start getting more worried after mm. that time. But... Um, I hope she'll come out and, and she'll obviously be very, very well looked after. Yeah. And we will breathe relief. Yeah, well, she's, well, she couldn't be in a better place. Doctors and all the right doctors and nurses, and the king as well. Angela Levin, thank you very much. Always a thank pleasure. You. That is a royal biographer. Angela Levin.